Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Bluefin Design and I'm Nikhil. And in this video, we are going to be moving forward in our case study of language translation as we discussed in my previous video. Uh, but before moving ahead, I just wanted to quickly apologize that I haven't been sharing videos for the past month uh, because there was a personal development in my life and I had to take care of that. But I'm all settled in now and ready to jump into the process. So as you can see on the screen, we are actually in the midst of a UX case study that is language translation. And uh, as I promised, I'm going to be walking you through my process of the US case, uh, UX case study uh, that is going through the research, ideation, design and testing. And if you want to follow along through my process, be sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell icon so you're notified of all my future videos. So let's uh, get started with user research. So user research provides small scale qualitative insight into people's behavior and how they use the product. Unlike market research where we can gain a broader uh, quantitative in analysis of uh, the user's intentions of using uh, your product, uh, user research is actually a bit more uh, deeper in terms of the information that you can find out from the users and it also builds uh, a deeper connection with the user in terms of the feedback that you can get and also they are learning about their behavior. So that's the difference between market research and user research and with user research you can actually inform the design decisions unlike market research where um, you can inform the marketing decisions. So uh, what you can say about the goals of user research should be. So if you want to uh, evaluate the user's needs, what the users really want and or are looking for, um, or you can develop the personas and the user journeys so the journey of the user when they are actually using a product or your product. So user research can be used to determine all of, all of these things. It can also be used to test your designs. If you already have a product and you're looking to improve that product or a service, you can, you can perform user research to actually test the designs. Um, or if you want to improve or implement new features. So it goes hand in hand with that as well. Uh, the other thing is you can also use user research to actually build the information architecture of your product, whether it is a new product or a new feature that you're adding in to your existing product. Building the information architecture is uh, extremely important for a good product or a service, um, although it may not be um, visible on the first sight, but it is ex extremely important. So. Uh, the goals of user research are to evaluate the user's needs, personas and user journeys, uh, test the designs and the product features and also to build the information architecture of your product. What are the different methods that could be used for user research? Well, there are so many actually and um, you can see on the screen that some of them are user interviews wherein you talk to the users or your potential users one on one about um, the products and what they're interested in and also their pain points about using an existing product. You can also uh, do focus groups wherein you talk to a group of people uh, that represent a larger user demographic and also gain um, some insights into the pain points that and the experiences of using the product. You can also do some usability tests with users um, wherein you can actually um, have the user uh, walk through or use your product, but then you only sit back and observe them while they're doing so. Um, one other option is contextual inquiry, where um, there's a small difference between usability test and a contextual inquiry in that the contextual inquiry is done within context. So uh, imagine like a user, um, imagine uh, you're, you, you're building um, an application which is going to be used um, at uh, local grocery stores and so for contextual inquiries you're going to be actually going physically going to the grocery stores and interacting with the users 
and testing the features when the users are actually using your product while they are in the location. So it gives more context, um, but we are going to we are going to actually looking uh, we are going to be looking at all of these options one by one in the subsequent videos as well. One more option is to do competitive analysis, which I'm actually currently working on with the current UX case study. So you can expect my next video uh, to be on competitive analysis. Uh, the other option and more common option that you may have already used or may have already seen online is to um, share surveys and questionnaires for the users to fill out. Um, the key important thing to uh, remember when doing surveys or questionnaires is to keep your questions open-ended as possible. So you can actually extract more information from the responses that you get. Um, one other way is to do eye tracking when the users are actually using through uh, using your product or going through the website as uh, for example uh, you can track the user's eyes and what their eyes focus on so uh, there are different tools that you could use uh, but as i mentioned earlier we're actually going to be diving deeper into all of these methods in my subsequent videos so this video was a really short one where I wanted to share uh, the user research um, on a high level and also kind of give you an idea of what to expect in my next videos. So uh, if you like this video and you like my content, uh, please be sure to show some love and hit that like button. Also uh, share this video with your network so more people can actually follow along with the UX case study process of, of research, ideation, design and testing and also hit that subscribe button to follow along through the entire process thank you so much for watching